When I got my first pair of batting gloves, I felt like a baseball player. It just felt like the guys that were on TV. And welcome to the Doosan ALDS telecast on MLB Network. Progressive Field is the Indians host the Yankees in Game 2 of this Best of Five Division Series. Two. And that hit him. That loads the bases. Hits the wow, sure off of the bat. They're now loaded for one of the best run producers in the game. Can the Indians do something with the opportunity? With the eighth selection of the 2011 first year player draft. The Cleveland Indians select Francisco Lindo. Oh, a lot of people are sitting there What about his Google Cabrera? Well, you know what? You can't worry about First that. round pick by the Tribe, number eight overall. He swings and drives one deep to right field. It's a home run. The top prospect in the Indians organization gets a standing ovation here at the ballpark. Indians will call up shortstop Francisco Lindor. Lindor is expected to join the Indians Sunday for the team's series finale against the Detroit Tigers. Francisco Lindor, yeah, rookie of the year, that's definitely not out of the question, is it? Francisco, that's fun to say. Francisco. We feel like for this kid's career, he is going to be one of the better players in the game. And that's really exciting. One and only Francisco Lindor. What a rookie season. What are we expecting here, too? I think temper some expectations initially. I think it'll be an adjustment for him, just like it is with any other young player. And a welcome to you. On November 2nd, it's Game 7 of the 2016 World Series. Sometimes you got to get lucky against a guy like Chapman. Mountain Mahas. playing all these games how tough is it to lose a game seven in that fashion it's tough it hurts um but i'm i'm proud of my team i'm happy uh it's been on real year uh coming into the two slot it's francisco lindor lindor like carlos correa coming off a spectacular rookie year with an excellent first full season a linchpin of the american league champions lindor also now goes into his age 23 season and over the last two years he is the shortstop war leader the Indians are not only the talk of Cleveland or of the baseball world, they're the talk of the entire sports world. Winners of 21 straight, the longest streak ever in the American League. Uh, he gets up to the plate, has one of the most intense at bats that I've seen out of him. You get that guy to the plate at the right time, you have a good chance to win that game. And Lindor is 100% that guy. Down to their final out, the 0-1 pitch up high to even the count. Eric Gonzalez tying run at first base. Two down, bottom of the ninth, 2 2 pitch. Swung on, line drive, deep left field. Back goes Gordon. He's at the wall. He leaps. He can't make the catch. Coming around third with the tying run is Gonzalez. In the second is Lindor. The Indians have tied it down to their last strike in the bottom of the ninth. Right man in the right spot. I think the star right now just in terms of also being a star for the face of his country and also for the for the face of baseball potentially is Francisco Lindor. I mean, this guy really has emerged, you know, ever since he's been up in the big leagues, the, all the Indians have done is win. And the Cleveland Indians are Central Division champions for the third year in a row. guy that is entrenched as a starter at shortstop for not just 2017, but for many, many years to come for the Cleveland Indians. Reality can be whatever I want. I think Lindor, for sure, you're, you're going to see him in a new uniform before opening day. The Indians have made it clear. They, they know they can't re-sign him long term. You know, whether or not you would sign a long term contract, why not do that here? Is think about what he's dealt with for the last few years on a championship caliber team where they're taking pieces away because yep. they don't want to spend. Cleveland Indians are a joke. They should be ashamed of themselves. Because they have offered me the right thing.
This is going to be the talk of the entire winter from a trading standpoint because he is he's the Mookie Betts of this offseason. Paul Dolan, the owner of the Indians, said, quote, we control him for three more years. Enjoy him. I like what the Dodgers are doing. The Mets have a lot of trade wishes, and according to MLB Network's John Morosi, Cleveland is eager to have Mets as a trade partner for Francisco Lindor. Lonzo and Smith hurt probably the most, uh, but uh, that seems to be the expectation that would be Cleveland's ask. I'm wondering if the Mets even have to include Dom Smith or Pete Alonso in a deal for uh, Lindor. The Indians are in a position where they have to move this guy. They can't pay him what he's worth. Today we've acquired uh, really one of the great players in Major League Baseball, Francisco Lindor from Cleveland. You know, I, I'm not in this to be mediocre. You know, that's just not my thing. A swing and a drive to deep right, away back, off the pole. And down here, he's done it again. It is a franchise-defining train. And I mean this with all due respect to Jose Reyes. Lindor is a better version. I'm not money-driven. I'm championship-driven. Wherever I go, I want to win.